My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid, fried chicken, popcorn, get whatever you may need. And I hope you enjoy the video. My brothers and sisters, I'm going to warn you right now. You truly, truly, <laughs> truly are going to need your Kool-Aid, fried chicken, popcorn, whatever, whatever you may need. Because this video right here, I'm telling you right now, this joke might pass 40 minutes. <laughs> I'm being dead serious, but I'm going to try to keep it entertaining. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> Where the hell do I begin? Uh, honestly, like, I, I got freaking three pages of freaking notes. I I don't even know where to start on this sucker, okay? But if you missed my initial reaction video, bam, there it goes right there. Um, Like I said, I'm going to do a full review of this freaking conference. Um, <laughs> I... I just find it funny because you know how before the, the conference happened, I said, you know, this might not even be the PlayStation 4. Like, people aren't 100% positive yet that they will even announce the PlayStation 4. And freaking, I even said that Sony might come out and say something big like, at this conference, we are here to uh, unveil that. We killed Tupac. Just for clarification, Sony did not kill Tupac. I repeat, Sony did not <laughs> kill Tupac. But man, you know, before this conference happened, people, I mean, at, at this point, it was pretty much, they had to at least, my nigga, at least <laughs> talk about the PlayStation 4, you know? I thought they were, they were going to take the approach where they talk about the PlayStation 3, you know, the future of it. They talk about the PlayStation Vita. They talk about, you know, the new changes to PSN, you know, then towards the end, talk a little bit about PlayStation 4. They said, screw it. If we don't do it, we do it like, we do it like a boss. Like literally eight minutes in, literally eight minutes, maybe even less, eight minutes in this conference, Sony's announces the PlayStation 4. And, uh... You know, it was just like, wow, the, the, like as soon as when they announced the PlayStation 4 that soon, I'm like, oh, yeah, the, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, this conference is about to get good because you cannot announce a new system and then, you know, the, the next portion after that be terrible. Like it, it was only uphill from there. So it just got better and better once they announced it. So they announced the PlayStation 4, the PS4, the Trade Station 4, Trade Brotherhood, whatever you want to call this thing. PlayStation 4 is here. The PlayStation 4 is here. Okay, next gen is here. Okay, um well it was always here with the uh Wii U. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was so mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't, don't get it twisted. I respect Nintendo, but man, I just don't, I just don't see it. I just do not see how, uh, they, they man, I'm telling you right now at E3, woo, everybody better be coming out with something big. Anyways, play the, 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 play, the, the PlayStation 4, literally in my eyes, this junk is a PC disguised, disguised as a console. Like, it's like freaking PC freaking PlayStation 4 in disguise. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys know the Transformer song where it's like Transformers robots in disguise. No, freaking P no, PlayStation 4 PC in disguise. This is this is in the console. I mean, this is at least at the most a decent PC, okay? So, the PlayStation 4 specs supercharged PC art art uh, Can I say this word? 
supercharged PC architecture, x86 CPU. Do I do I know what that means? Absolutely not, but sounds good. <laughs> eight gigabytes of RAM. Eight gig 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 eight gigabytes of RAM. This thing right here, the PlayStation Three, I, I think. It had 256 meg megabytes of RAM for the system and 256 megabytes of RAM for the video. You add that together, 200 plus 200, that's 400. 400 plus 56, that's 456. 456 plus 56. Carry the five. <laughs> I think that's 512 megabytes total that the PlayStation 3 had. You know, so um, you go from 512 megabytes of RAM, which is the reason why PlayStation 3 was not even capable of cross game chat because it didn't have enough RAM. You go from that to 8 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, Sony was dropping bombs, and it, it, it did not stop there, okay? The graphics processor is an enhanced PC GPU. Literally, in my eyes, this is a PC, PlayStation, no, PlayStation 4, PC in disguise. This is, I'm telling you, th th this is not a console. This is at least, at the most, a decent PC. <laughs> it's crazy, but, that, but those were uh, just a little few of other specs. Then, um, what I found to be funny... A lot of the rumors that were going on before this conference started actually came to be true. So the dude that's talking on a stage, I don't even remember his name, but he he uh he he presented the system very well, you know. Um but so freaking he's like Here we have the DualShock 4. <laughs> like 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 he freaking showed off the DualShock 4 and man the uh the uh uh the leaked photo of the supposedly new controller for a PlayStation 4 that came to be true. That's the actual controller, the DualShock 4 controller. Like I said, it's just something about it I just feel needs to be tweaked. I just feel like something needs to be either moved around or just something. But even if they were, even if that was the final build of the controller, I'd get used to it. Trust me, I would get used to it. But I just feel like something needs to be tweaked. But the DualShock 4 or 4 controller, it has a touchpad, it has a share button, which I'll get to which I'll get to later. It has a headphone jack and a light bar at the top of the at the top of the controller. It has a light bar which is said to identify players. By by the way, I got freaking freaking three pages of freaking notes right now, so just in case, freaking this is ridiculous, you know. Um The PlayStation 4 features. Suspend slash resume. <laughs> like, like I, I, I actually wrote that. Suspend. By the way, during this junk, I'm like, my hand was burning, and I, I and I, and I put that on a Twitter. I'm like, dude, my hand is burning right now. They're like, dude, stop jacking off. I'm like, L really? Like, that's what you think I'm doing? Like, I mean, they, they were only half right. I was jizzing a lot during this conference, but. The other half, my hand was burning because I was writing down so much. Like you, you man, this joke was. I felt like I was in class writing a uh, my best essay ever, <laughs> but it was crazy. But uh, the PlayStation, the PlayStation Four features suspend slash resume. You know, okay. Um. So with the press of a button, the press of a just, just, ding, just the press. Oh snap, I actually took my PS3. I forgot with the press of a button, you can turn on the PS3 also. But I think on the PlayStation 4 is going to be more, more like, <clears throat> like, <clears throat> like, like during this entire conference, they, they were, they kept on stating they were really trying to, uh, they, 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 they were really trying to, uh, make things like game load times and booting up a console a thing of a pass. Like now with the press of a button, your console's on or with the press of a button you're playing a game so um but pr just press the power button and system enters a low power state with your current play session preserved in ram so say if you're playing i don't know the new kill zone on playstation 4 which i oh my god i'll get to that later but so you're playing the new kill zone on uh playstation 4 your mom calls you billy billy yeah mom i'm playing kill zone right now but you what you didn't do your chores today. You ain't washed no dishes. Ah, uh, nah, you know the PlayStation 4 just came out, mama. I don't care, boy. You do these dishes right now. Bam. Press of a button. You save your game. The system turns off. 
they said that it, 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 it saves your current play session preserved in RAM. So with the press of a button, it saves the game, your system turns off, you come back, press the button, you immediately start playing where you left off. And I was just like, <laughs> like it, it was during this entire conference it was so hard to to uh absorb everything that i was seeing that is capable that this system was capable of doing i i i i just man it was just too it was just too much but um also upload or download games in in the background while you're playing games or even with the main power off once again, upload or download games in the background while you're playing games or even with the main power off. So you know how on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 and I'm not sure if this is like this on the Wii or the Wii U. But uh, you know how when you're downloading a game or whatever, a movie, if you're downloading it, you pretty much had, had to stay on the main screen for it to download and you couldn't do anything else, like you couldn't play games, nothing. Now you can download games, and while you're downloading in the background, you can still be playing a freaking full game like that. That 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 really like I I, I knew that had to be a feature because if you if you if you're talking about next gen, people don't want to download something and have to wait for it to download. Like right? they want to be doing something else. And much how on on PC you could be downloading whatever porn freaking games <laughs> whatever you know while it's downloading you you can still have tabs open doing something else i feel that that had to be something that was in next gen and it's in it upload or download games in, in the background while you're playing games or even with the main power off so if the main power of the system is off you mean to tell me this system can still download things <sighs> i don't even know where to start <laughs> Digital games are playable even while being downloaded. When you, when you download a game, you can download a fraction of it and play while system downloads the entire game. I think this is also known as cloud gaming. Because uh, when I was hearing this, I was like, this 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 this, this sounds familiar, but it just sounds better. <laughs> like, but I, I think it's cloud gaming. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's cloud gaming. Did Digital games are playable even while being downloaded. So say if uh, you want to download, you know, some new game that, that just came out. You download it, boom, immediately you download it and you can start playing it before it even is 100% completely downloaded. Like, this is just freaking crazy. Like, it was so much stuff to absorb by the time the conference was over. You guys saw my initial reaction. It was just freaking crazy. Um... The new interface or the user face, the XMB, whatever. By the way, the XMB on the PlayStation 3 was. I gotta turn off the. My, I, I, I literally turned on this thing. But, um. The XMB on the PlayStation 3 was really outdated. Really felt outdated, too. They really didn't do much change to it. But the new XMB, if you wanna call it on PlayStation 4, it looks real good. It has a real nice, sleek design. You know, I can't really really say too much bad things about it. You know, I like the way it looks, you know? Um, so, but I, I felt that they couldn't go with the same X and B, the whole cross meat. No, like they, they had to do something new and, and they did. So I liked how the new X and B look. Upload screenshots from games you play, upload videos from games you play, and live stream. So if you have a, a cool sight you see in the game back to the DualShock 4 controller where it had that share button you upload load the screenshot press share share with all your friends and suckers out there so bam this is just, just crazy upload screenshots share screenshots share videos and live streaming like I said a lot of the rumors that were said were, were, were that that were said that the PlayStation 4 could do actually came to be true the PlayStation 4 <clears throat> is capable of live streaming so no longer you have to go on twitch.tv or justin.tv or you stream to stream no screw it you you want to stream literally i might like i, I always wanted to stream with, with the playstation 4 i will be streaming so playstation 4 live streams i'll show you guys a picture right now you see how to the right side it has a the chat session going on so while you're watching your friend stream or whoever stream out there you can be chatting with other people in that stream and be watching the stream and it got even better from that point um if your friend is watching your stream if friend needs help getting past a part in the game take over controller and system to help while still in stream so say if on PlayStation 4 you're playing, uh, I don't know, 
Black Ops 4. <laughs> oh my god. You're playing Black Ops 4 on Play on PlayStation 4. You you're just like, oh my god, I, I think I cannot go 101. I well or or 200 and zero. I I cannot go flawless. I need help. Bam, your friend Bob is in watching your live stream. He's like, don't worry, George, I got this. Takes over your controller and system and starts playing the game while still in the stream. <laughs> what am I supposed to say to that? Like, it's it's freaking crazy what this system can do. Um, they were saying how the PlayStation 4, once it learns what type of content you like from games to movies to applications, whatever, once it learns the type of content that you like, it will recommend you to things that are in that same genre. So if you're a guy that likes to play a lot of action adventure games or FPS games or sports games or RPG games or whatever. If it see if the PlayStation 4 sees that you're buying a lot of stuff in that genre, it'll recommend you to stuff that are in that same genre. So it personalizes itself with you, tries to suit your needs. So I found that to be cool. And um <clears throat> that's where I was like the Wii U it's irrelevant. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, by the way, I'm joking. Cause some 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 people when I, I say things like that, like they take it to heart and be like, man, 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 man screw you, dislike button, suck it. No, I'm joking. It's not irrelevant. But this is when I said, yeah. And we you better come up with something big and soon, okay? Tell me this does not sound like the same feature the we can do. Remote play with PlayStation Vita. So say if you're playing your PlayStation 4 on your TV, okay, um, and your mom says, get off the TV, I have to watch some Maury. I need to see if he's the father. <laughs> so bam, you have to get off the TV playing your PlayStation 4. You can transfer the game you're playing on your PlayStation 4 to your PlayStation Vita and start playing it on your Vita. Now, I was confused. Does this mean that the PlayStation Vita is capable of playing PlayStation 4 games? Or will it be a downgrade in quality? Or it, it was just like, are you kidding me right now? But tell me that does not sound exactly like where if you're playing the Wii U on your TV, you can go from playing it on TV to playing it on the Wii U gamepad. It sounds like just the same. The only difference is you have to buy a PlayStation Vita. Like, like this makes the PlayStation Vita, I mean, it was never got freaking mucus and stuff, but it, it was never, the PlayStation Vita was never irrelevant, but this feature makes the PlayStation Vita just that much more important to have if you're a PlayStation fan. So, that was crazy. Play, go from playing games on your PlayStation 4 to on your TV to playing it on your PlayStation Vita. That was, that was, that was crazy. Um, but man, yeah, so just, just, yeah, I know that Nintendo is, a uh, pretty much the game system that is, uh, pretty much receiving a lot of jokes right now, but trust me, don't get it twisted. Sony and Microsoft, they are still looking at Nintendo and taking ideas from it. Every con, every guy, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, they're all looking, <clears throat> they're all looking at their other competition and seeing what they can take from it and, you know, put it into theirs. Like, like that's just the game, man. Y'all, I mean, y'all, y'all got to realize this, okay? Yo, I mean, you, they, they freaking, Sony, they are out here trying to get it. <laughs> like, like, so bam. But that really sounds like the, what, what the Wii you can do. Just, you have to have a PlayStation Vita. Um, let's get to, uh, the games right now, okay? The games. Killzone Shadowfall. Take my money. Take my money, please. Take, I will go to the bank right now. Take out the rest I have in my bank account, which is probably like $12. Take it out. I'm putting down my pre-order already. I'm going. I'm going to GameStop, being like, "Yo, let me pre-order that kills on Shadow." <laughs> like it's freaking. This game kills on Shadowfall, uh, which some people are still calling it. Kill kills on four. They're like, "Screw it." It's called kills on four. Kills on Shadowfall. Graphics downright freaking jaw dropping. 
downright jaw dropping. Uh, the textures, the lighting, the sound, everything in this game was just jaw dropping. Like that, that that's all I can say. I, Killzone Shadowfall. A lot of people be sleeping on Killzone. Man, y'all, y'all, the only, Killzone's biggest issue is it just, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, pe like, people just, it doesn't have a long lifespan with people. I, I, I don't know why. Like, I, I could not tell Guerrilla Games what they could do to make Killzone more and more popular. I, I, I don't know. Like, it's, it's, it's a great game. Kill, Killzone 2 was great. Killzone 3 was great. Killzone 3, Kind of, they even tried to go more casual with kills on three, and it still didn't work. I, I, I don't know what I don't know what to tell you guys, but uh, kills on shuffle, I'm excited. Then they showed a well before that they showed a knack. The the guy who was talking on a stage, she was actually working on a, the game knack. Um, they they showed it off. It looked cool, very uh cartoony, kind of had that ratchet and clank feel to it, but looks cool but it, it kind of was outshined by the other games so i don't really have too much to say about that then they showed a uh, drive club which was pretty much irrelevant <laughs> to me because uh, yeah it had great graphics but i, I, I don't know racing games just ha don't just don't really entertain me as uh, like how they, they used to if you was to show a racing game if any show something like gran turismo 6 or something you know don't come out with some irrelevant game called Drive Club. <laughs> but, I mean, the graphics uh, looked good, but I'm not a graphics guy. I'm a gameplay guy. Uh, then uh, Infamous Second Son, which some people are calling Infamous 3. They showed a trailer off for that. You are not playing as Cole McGrath no more. You are playing as some new guy. Infamous Second Son. Does Cole McGrath have a son? I don't remember him having, uh, him having a baby, but... Uh, Infamous Second Son, you're playing as a new guy. The, tra the trailer looks great. Um, freaking Infamous Second Son or Infamous 3? PlayStation 4, it's coming, baby. Uh, then uh, they showed off a game called The Witness. Looks like a pu looks like a puzzle game. Uh, not com not completely sure what this game is, but it looks like a puzzle game at least. But in terms of creativeness, it kind of reminded me of... Uh, What's that PSN game called uh, uh, that I have not played, but a lot of people say it's, that it's the best PSN title? Um, the Journey. It, in terms of creativeness, it, it reminds me of that. But, you know, uh, so, I mean, could be a cool game. Then, uh, they, uh, then, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm freaking, dude, it's so many freaking notes. Like, I'm trying to find this junk. Then Quantic Dream comes out if you don't know if you guys don't know who Quant who Quantic Dream is they are the people who made uh Heavy Rain which I have yet I didn't buy that game I remember when it came out honestly to keep it 300 I was broke when that game came out and I just never got around to getting it but uh <laughs> Quantic Dream so they show off their new engine and they have this old guy on uh, the screen and uh Man, just to see the amount of detail. And you know, they've always, Quantic Dream, they've always been known to, you know, really capture the emotion and detail and, you know, the characters' faces. But with this guy, with this old guy, I was like, yo, if this is any sign of how next gen games are going to look, <laughs> it, it was freaking almost downright scary. Like how. This this game was looking uh, I well, well that old guy he 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 was looking quite uh, quite quite real and uh, it just looked great. Uh, then media molecule that's my computer. Uh, then me then media molecule they they come I always have a tough time saying their name media molecule media molecule media. then media molecule mo oh my god media molecule okay they come out on stage okay they come out on stage if you guys don't know who media mole mo media mo if you guys do not know who media mo oh if you guys don't know who mm is <laughs> mm that's what i'm calling them from now on if you guys don't know who mm is uh they are the people who make uh little big planet so they come out on stage, they do a nice tech tech demo with the PlayStation Move. And here's the thing. Yes, PlayStation Move was an epic, a pro, epic fail of epic proportions on PlayStation 3. But I feel that on PlayStation, on PlayStation 4, PlayStation Move has more potential. I don't feel that 
they're done with PlayStation Move. I feel like it has more potential on PlayStation 4. So they had a nice tech demo with the PlayStation Move and stuff. It was cool. Capcom, which I think, in my eyes, I'm sorry. If anything impressed me the most, I wouldn't say this impressed me the most, but Capcom, when they came out on stage, and you know, you know how I feel about Capcom. If you don't, I don't like what they did with Resident Evil. Don't like what they did with Marvel vs. Capcom. Don't like what they did with Street Fighter X Tekken. I, it's a ton of things. I can make this whole entire video about the things I don't like, like about Capcom, but... So they come out on stage, they show off their new engine, codenamed Panta Ray. The game they showed, I, I, I don't know if this was a trailer or if this was an actual game. At first I'm like, okay, this is a trailer, it, it has to be a trailer, but... At the bottom, you can see like the icons to where he will like where he could like pick like like choose a type of weapon that he had on him, and it looks like like they were controlling him moving. And I'm like, wait, thi wait, this is a game? Like this, this is actual gameplay? This game looked gorgeous. <laughs> this jump looked better than Killzone uh, freaking Shadowfall. I was like, no, th this is not actual gameplay. If that is actual gameplay. Jizz. Jizz freaking everywhere, dude. But the, the 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 game they were showing, this jump looked like Skyrim on steroids. Like, it had dragons, it had a freaking knights, and freaking... It, it was just like it, Skyrim on steroids. That's all I can say. The game is called Deep Down, and it just looked great to me. But I still don't know if that was a trailer or gameplay. Square Enix. Let, 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 let me stop throwing my paper but square enix they they come out you blasphemous bastards <laughs> they they come out uh and i'm just like anything you say if it does not relate to kingdom hearts 3 get off the freaking stage they freaking come out show the office trailer for a final fantasy i guess it was a trailer for for for, for final fantasy and then they and, and then they say Look forward to more Final Fantasy at this year's E3. And I'm just like, listen, I I realize probably popularity-wise, Final Fantasy, yes, it's more popular than Kingdom Hearts. I don't think Square Enix realizes how important it is to have Kingdom Hearts 3. People ex expected it to be out on PS3. Th that jump wasn't even announced. All they did was kind of come out, come out with spinoffs on the freaking DS. And, and uh, I mean, it was just like, give us what we want. Square. Am I preaching today? <laughs> Am I preaching in this? Uh, give us what we want. Kingdom Hearts 3. Or oh, uh, please. Final Fantasy. I I've never gotten into it. Never. I, I played Final Fantasy 10, but. I at, after that, I heard Final Fantasy 7 was the best one ever, but I, I could not tell you what, 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 what what's good about Final Fantasy. I, I just never got into the game. Kingdom Hearts 3, it needs to be, it needs to be. I feel like if they if they showed Kingdom Hearts 3 instead of Final Fantasy, what was that Final Fantasy, instead of that Final Fantasy trailer, it would have had more of an impact. Like, people would have been on Twitter or whatever be like, Oh my god, bombs are dropped. Square Enix just announced Kingdom Hearts. Like, come on, dude. Uh then you then Ubisoft. They come out, show off uh Watch Dogs, which is looking better and better the more I see it. You know what Watch Dogs reminds me of the more and more I see it? Reminds me of LA Noir. Reminds me of uh Grand Theft Auto. And reminds me of, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie with uh, Shia LaBeouf. If you guys don't know who Shia LaBeouf is, it's the guy who plays Sam in Transformers. Or back in the day on the Disney Channel. This, this, this is going way back when Disney Channel actually used to have good shows to watch. Even Stevens. He had that TV show, Even Stevens. He had the movie Holes and stuff like that. I think he was in the movie Disturbia also. But Shia LaBeouf, he had this movie called Eagle Eye. Ubisoft. I mean, I'm not, not Ubisoft, but Watch Dogs really reminds me the, the, of the whole concept of Eagle Eye. Because it seems like you can hack into anything. Phones, freaking traffic lights, stop trains. <laughs> it was just like, what can this, what can you not hack into? It just reminded me of the Eagle, of Eagle Eye a little bit and L.A. Noir and Grand Theft Auto. But the gameplay they showed looked great. Like, he was hunting down, like, I guess a criminal for doing whatever. And, um, you know, each person he passed by... 
the phone would give you information of what that person was like about. And it just got crazy how he hacked into the train and stopped the train from moving with his phone. It was it was just like watch dogs. Trust me, I, I'm more hyped for The Last of Us, but Watch Dogs is freaking right behind it, like waiting. So, Watch Dogs looks freaking great. Then, uh, Blizzard Entertainment comes out. If you guys don't know, Blizzard is, uh, I think, I think they are the creators of World of Warcraft. Wow. Um, huge, huge, uh, PC game. Um, so Blizzard partners up with Sony and the once exclusive Diablo 3 is now coming to PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how it will run on PlayStation 3, being as that the PlayStation 3 now, I, I, I just don't think the, play, the PlayStation 3 would be able to handle Diablo 3. I mean, it, 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 can't, it could barely handle Skyrim. I don't, I, I don't see how it will be able to handle uh, Diablo 3, but PlayStation 4? Yeah, 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 but Diablo 3 coming to PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. This is where the uh, event took a turn downhill, it kind of went downhill because Activision, they they walk out on stage, I'm like, what do these bastards have to say? <laughs> I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, as, as soon as they came, came out on stage, I was like, I put down the, everything and I'm like, <laughs> I, I, I was just waiting for them to say something about Call of Duty, and they just straight up lied to be like, "Oh yeah, 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 we yeah we've always support supported Sony and you know everything they did, but yet freaking DLCs for Call for Call of Duty come out like a month after it comes out on Xbox." Yeah, Activision, you've always supported Sony. Anyways, they're like, "Yeah, we yeah yeah." We've always supported Sony and everything they did, and PlayStation 4 is looking so great. And uh, basically, Activision is working with Bungie. If you guys don't know who Bungie is, they are pretty much known for their greatness on my favorite FPS. Pretty much for the past eight years. <laughs> I, I don't know, but Bungie, they're known for Halo. You know, with Halo 1, 2, and three, and I think Reach also, uh, Halo 4 is 343 Industries, but they're known for uh, Halo, and they're making their new game called Destiny. Destiny is also coming out on PlayStation. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, Xbox just lost another exclusive. <laughs> it got to the point where I'm like, yo, how many exclusives does Xbox have? They got Gears, Halo, <laughs> Xbox, I'm telling you right now, for your next gen system, you better have more exclusives. Like you cannot, you cannot keep depending on Gears and Halo. You just cannot do it. They need more exclusives. That was a huge, huge shot. Like when that happened, I'm like, oh my god, Xbox irrelevant. Bungie, like, come on, like, like they, they need more exclusives, man. I'm telling you, 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 you freaking Xbox, you, 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 you. You better come out with something else. They need more exclusives, period. Period, okay? Um, pretty much after, oh yeah, and by, by the way, Destiny, Bungie's new game, is coming out on PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. Xbox irrelevant. I'm joking. I feel like I have to say that because man, I tell you what, when I did that video, I got personal messages saying, gamer, I, <laughs> Gamer, I thought she was better than this. Oh my god, unsub. I'm like, really? Really? Like, really? Is, is that what it's come down to? That you take your precious piece of plastic so seriously that if anyone is to ever speak about it in a way you don't like, then wow, oh my god. I mean, I guess, you know, uh, I mean, a lot of gamers are just very passionate about gaming. But when it comes down to the point where like you don't like you hate when people has any have anything to say bad about your console that's when it's just just stop stop okay the fanboy war part two is here okay it, 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 it's here it's already here next gen fanboys are here and the next gen consoles aren't even out yet well, well the wii u is up but you know uh God, I can't say anything. <laughs> Every time I bring in the Wii U, it's always in a bad light. But people are saying that, you know, Xbox is irrelevant and Nintendo 
<laughs> and Nintendo is done. Here's here's the thing. Before I get to the last part, Xbox is not irrelevant. I know I did a video about it, joking about it. I threw it out, <laughs> threw it outside my house. <laughs> but Xbox is not irrelevant. We cannot say that until we see what Xbox has to bring to the table. I'm telling you right now. Come E3, which I. I'm really trying to go to, I, I, I have to go to this year's E3, somehow, some way, someone please sponsor me and take me there, please, but I'm telling you right now, at this year's E3, Microsoft and Nintendo, and they better come big, they better come with the big boys, so I'm telling you right now, if freaking Xbox comes to E3 talking about freaking Gears of War Judgment, and a freaking new Halo and connect. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Xbox better come big. They, they 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 better be dropping bombs the same way Sony was dropping bombs during that conference. And Nintendo, <laughs> uh, Nintendo, uh, people are saying that Nintendo's done. I don't think Nintendo's done. Nintendo. Nintendo N Nintendo has has to bring games. Games. They they they're so focused on this freaking tablet and motion control. Bring the games. Bring the Star Foxes, bring the Super Smash Brothers, bring the Metroid Primes. Bring what you need games. You need people buy gaming consoles to play games. You need games. Nintendo, Microsoft, you better come big. Come eat here. I'm telling you right now. That right now. But last but not least, um, to end off the conference, okay? They give the PlayStation 4 a release date. This year, holiday season 2013. So I'm guessing November, December. And being as at that, my birthday is in November. <laughs> I probably still won't get it, but I'm I, I'm pro I, I could probably get it for less. You know, I could probably have someone chip in with me. I, I know for a fact, ain't no one buying me the PlayStation 4 just flat out on my birthday. But you know, but comes out either November, December. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling y'all right now. You 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 better start putting your monies in in jars. You 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 better stop buying lunch money at school. You better drop out of college and stop paying for them books. Whatever you gotta do, eat raw, eat ramen noodles for the rest of this year. Whatever you gotta do, you better start saving now. Cause when PlayStation 4 come out, <laughs> I like like, oh my god, it's be there or be square. Okay, so PlayStation 4 comes out this holiday season, 2013, November, December, maybe even freaking October, who knows? But it's coming out this year. Um and you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but you guys know Major Nelson, the guy who works for Xbox. This dude had the audacity to throw a cheap shot at Sony's entire conference. So he sends, so he sends out a tweet saying, uh, "Announce your new console without showing the actual console itself." I guess that's one approach to take. It's just like really, really major Nelson. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yes. People were asking why didn't they show the console. Here's my uh, prediction. This conference was so big, showing so many huge things for PlayStation 4, they needed something to show at E3. I'm predicting that at E3, that's when they will show the actual console itself, the PlayStation 4. If they showed it at, you know, uh, the conference they had, like, 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 what would they have to show at E3? So I'm guessing they'll show it at E3. If not, then I don't know. Uh, but, uh, you know, so just made, just made your Nelson stop. Stop it. Stop it, okay? And people were also asking why weren't games like Jack 4 shown or Uncharted 4 or even Battlefield 4, you know? Uh, you know, it, 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 people are saying that the way how Activision showed up at Sony's conference, they're saying that EA might show up at whatever conference, I, whatever conference when Microsoft has one and maybe they'll like team up with freaking Microsoft the same way that freaking Activision and Bungie teamed up with Sony. It's it's a lot of stuff going on right now. All I know is it's great to be a gamer right now. But so some games weren't shown that people want to see. The Last Guardian is another one. Um, I, 
I knew they weren't going to show Uncharted 4. It was just too soon. Jack 4, I was hoping they showed that, but they didn't show that. And The Last Guardian, I don't even think that game is coming out. <laughs> like, that that game is, is I, I don't think, that, that game is like Dre's uh, album, uh, Detox. That that junk is not coming out anytime <laughs> soon. But saying that, uh, and people were also asking a price. What's the price for the PlayStation 4? Here's my thing. Um, remember how when PlayStation 3 came out, the 60 gig model was $600 and the 20 gig model was $500 and people have the nerve to say the PlayStation 4 is going, is going to be 300 or 400 Are you smoking that crack? Are you smoking the ganja? Are you smoking the kush? Okay? That junk, I don't know how much this junk, this junk is going to cost being as the economy sucks right now and people can't even freaking find jobs. And it, I mean, it's tough out here for a pimp, okay? It's hard out here for a pimp these days. But I'm telling you right now, this junk is, I can guarantee you it's going to be more than 400 I can guarantee you it's going to be more than 450 I can guarantee that with, with, with what this system could do, freaking disguised as a PC, call the PlayStation, no. This junk is going to at least, at least, the minimum be 500 Up. Depends on what model, what model you want, but... So that I know, no one knows the cost yet. But me personally, I would be willing with everything that the system could do itself. I'd be willing to show over, I'd say, six hundred, seven hundred dollars. That's the highest I'm going to. You, they, they freaking say, oh yeah. By the way, the PlayStation Four will be one thousand dollars. Screw that. <laughs> I'll freaking wait. I'll, 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 I'll be playing The Last of Us on PS3. Thank you very much, kind sir. But saying all that, PlayStation Four this year. Ho the, ho the holiday season, uh, Xbox is not done, I don't feel like, I don't even think Nintendo's done, you just gotta come big, Sony came big, Microsoft, Nintendo, y'all better come with the freaking, y'all better come dropping bombs come E3, that's all I gotta say. Last but not least, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this conference, if you stuck with me through this entire conference, please leave a comment saying, gamer, you are my gaming guru, you are my go-to gamer that, that I go to, okay, my brother, saying that, <laughs> I just gotta say one thing. What does this mean for Microsoft and Nintendo? Thank you very much.